Good morning everyone. I just woke up, made the fire, and I'm making a cup of ceremonial cacao to start my day, which I do every morning. It's my ritual. Then I'm going to go for a run. I have been enjoying using the pavement here in Henley and being able to go for a run whenever I want to no matter the weather no matter the mud so that is my morning routine and after the run i generally do a meditation and get ready to set work The coal bucket sits in front of the stove in the dark corner. So we've added a motion sensor light above it under the gunnels that lights up this area so we can actually see it and get the coal out with pinches. I go for a run every other day or so and do about three miles. It feels like a sustainable distance that I can do a few times a week without feeling wiped out and without needing more than a day to recover. A new couple of ducks have discovered the puddle board and they're currently using it as a warm shelter. They've got their beaks hidden and they look really cold. I've just run out of oats, which is a bummer because I can't even give them any. So I'm gonna put some oats on the list to keep the ducks happy. Oh, they're so cute. This female duck is a little bit like white or gingery, quite an unusual colour for a duck. I love seeing autumn on the river. This is the latest in the year we've stayed on the Thames, so every day is a new experience. There are many ways to add adventure into your life. We've done cruising and changing where we live every two weeks. But this winter we're staying on the river 
and witnessing the change of seasons from the new perspective. Today for breakfast I'm having a millet porridge with kashi butter with roasted kashi butter and on the side I'm going to have my homemade kefir that I made with soy milk and I'm going to add some berry powder to it's quite nice itself but with berry powder it tastes like berry yogurt without any sugar So it's not actually yogurt, it is a homemade kefir, but it's very strong probiotics wise. So apparently kefir has 40 types of probiotic, whereas yogurt only has five or six. So that's why I'm drinking from small, like a small amount is enough. And it's a little bit, tiny little bit sour. So I like adding green powder or berry powder to it, but I can also have it as it is. Mm. Pretty good. It's such a gorgeous sunny day today. We've had so much rain recently, every single day, multiple times a day, or just non stop. I'm really happy to see some sun and also happy to receive some solar for the batteries. It's so nice to have the carpet back. It makes the boat feel even more like a home. And although I will probably never sit on the floor, um, that's not really visible with the temperatures here. I guess about a foot off um, the fl from the floor to about here is essentially underwater. So this is the coldest place to be, which is great in the summer, but not so good in winter. However, since we've um, laid the new floor and we've added some insulation there under the liner, the floor feels warmer and even like now sitting on here is, is not too bad. It's not, it's, yeah, it's not freezing at all, although it's still November. Really happy with that. It looks really new and clean, which is a problem with the white carpet, but it brightens everything up and we don't mind um, having an extra time washing it for the lightness that it brings. Thanks so much to Jackery for sponsoring this video. This is our second winter using Jackery power stations and we consider them being essential on board. After the clocks went back, it now gets dark pretty early, just after 4pm, and Jackery lightens up this season in many ways. It allows us to work on the boat without any interruptions or having to run the engine excessively. We love how reliable it is and we can charge it with solar or from the surplus of energy when we run the engine in the mornings. So it doesn't cost any extra. Being able to save and store the extra power for later is not only cost effective, but also allows us to do anything we want in the evening. Running lights, use high power gadgets like a hairdryer or steamer or just watch a movie. At night we use an electric heated blanket which is an absolute luxury on board and also Jackery runs our kitchen gadgets um, so I can make a hot cacao every morning and blend my very own nut butters in a food processor. Also, last festive season, Jackery powered our Christmas lights all day, every day. So we are going to do the same this year. Jackery is having up to 25% off until the 28th of November. Click the link in the description to get the deal.
here in Henley, I've spotted a few ducks that look quite unusual. They have black and white feathers and they dive underwater. The sky is so pink right now, so cool, I even, like everything inside is pink, so beautiful. So we've been avoiding a few vegetables in the fridge, so today I'm going to put them all in one casserole dish and hopefully we will have dinner sorted for the next three evenings. So that's the plan, no food waste, everything gets used and multiple dinners are sorted. Cute geese! Where are they all going? <laughs> In a straight line. When I went to Slovenia, uh, my mum and I went mushroom picking and um, some of the leftover mushrooms because we picked so many uh, we dried and I brought some back because that was the easiest way to bring something because they're not heavy um, so here they are I don't know what they're called in English they might be called honey mushroom they might not be so anyway uh, they're very very tasty so I'm going to add them to this casserole however we do have some mushrooms fresh ones chestnut mushrooms to use up as well so I'm going to have to have um, two types of mushroom in one dish. at work on a zoom call and you harmonicaring the ducks it's a serenade i want them to be happy what am i <laughs> thank you all so much for watching please give this video a like and help youtube know that you're enjoying our films sending you all our love see you in the next one